Welcome to another tutorial in our series on how to make a game with Ultimate Survival. And this video I've got my three year old son helping me to build us a house. He's actually helped design this house that I can now put down as one big prefab. And I can go inside my house, I can go upstairs, look out the window, look out this window, and it's a lovely ready made house that I could put down in my game whenever I want to build a new house. I've had a few emails asking Daddy. how you can make something like this. Yes sir, I'm showing Daddy. people the house. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we're going to show you now how to make this in a very, well, Daddy. I'm going to say a very quick video, Daddy. but it doesn't always go so Daddy. quick. Now, say hello to everyone. Daddy. Say hello. <laughs> say hello. <laughs> So we'll be back in a second. Before we get started, if you haven't already grabbed hold of a copy, pop over to the Asset Store at Unity 3D and grab a copy of Ultimate Survival. The link is in the description below. I'll wait for a minute and give you enough time to pop over and come back. Okay, so let's start by opening up our demo scene and start putting down the foundation for our new house. And let's put it somewhere where we've got lots of room to build. It will do. And there's a couple of different ways you can do this. I first of all thought about um, placing down each individual prefab in the editor mode. And I did that and it worked. But it took a lot of messing about. And after a while I just got a little bit bored. So I figured there's got to be an easier way. And I did this as a test and it seemed to work. And I didn't really have much of a problem with it. The first house that I've done is a two-story house, but for this test, uh, you know, just to show you guys how to do it, I'm just making a simple one-story house, and it's a very basic house, just so it looks nice. And there we go. And then let's put the roof on it. Yeah. Here's my house. Let's put the windows on and the door. And we call that a day. And that's the end of the tutorial. No, it's not. So, that's <laughs> just the start of the tutorial. Okay, and. Oops. No. Yeah. yeah. Here's our here's our house. So looks nice. Let's now pause. Don't stop. Just pause. And here is the building that we've just made. So we can drag now this building into our projects folder, and you'll see that some things haven't got the shaders correctly. Actually, you haven't got anything. This one does. You can see it here. And here's the material. But this one doesn't. Which is annoying. Let's now, stop our scene now that we have it safe here. And I'm going to lock my stairs. Find the folder that you get uh, with Ultimate Survival and Materials Building. Here's the stairs from the stairs and let's drag that here and look and do the same for all the missing all the pieces of a missing material so now that's done we need to drag in our building into the scene let's reset the position to 000 and you'll find that as we reset it to 000 you still don't see the building and that's because it's all the way up here at the top. So we need to move our building pieces all the way down into the 000. Now you could do it one by one but I just found it easier just to manually move them and drag them all down to around the 000 mark. So when we've got them moved down we just need to make sure that the position in all the right axes. So let's move it down and here we'll find that our building is on the zero 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 and it's got the stairs 
just above ground level. And that's so when we place it, we can see the stairs peeking out of the ground. And we also need to just rotate it because it's just annoying that it's lined up the wrong way. So let's just rotate it and try to even it up nice and straight. That'll do. So that's not bad there. That's not bad at all. Let's move it up a little bit more. Now, when you're placing down your buildable objects, where you're facing, um, this is like it's based off the zero, zero, zero. So you don't want it to be too close to you. Otherwise, as you're trying to put it down, it will just be right in front of your face and you can't line it up nicely. So we just move it a little bit further up so that there's a good distance between the player and the object while it's trying to place it in the scene. And that means that you can see nicely when you're putting it down if you've got anything basically obstructing your way. So that's that'll be good enough. I like that. That'll be nice. Now that we're happy, let's click apply and our prefab poof paf poof is now updated. Looks lovely. Okay. Now we go to uh, tools, ultimate survival, add, buildable creator, drag our building over here, click create. And now all of the scripts have been applied to it. We don't really need all of the scripts though. We only really needed building piece script. Could have done that ourselves. But I was lazy. So let's remove the box collider. Let's remove the deft handler. Let's remove the vitals. And I think that's all we really need at this moment. I do want to have, though, I do want to have terrain protection. So let's just start with our box. 5.5, here it is in the middle. Looks not bad. Random numbers just putting in. It's too big. It wouldn't be bad. 5.4. And 5.6. Okay. Now let's have that one. 5. Spot on. Lovely. It's rotation here. You can see that it's too big. 1.5. Because we just want the floor. And a bit of the base. 0.3. There we go. That's not bad. Okay, so I just had to pause the video as I had to get my second child up. So now we've got two kids helping us make the house. Well, one of them is having his milk, and the other one's helping us. So um, just move everything up slightly. Our TP box is now 0.6. And I want to add bounds. Let's put show bounds same values as we've got for our TP box so 0.6 and here a 5 here 3.4 but instead of a well instead of 0.6 and a 0.5 let's put a 1.5 and oh, I forgot to put our 5.6 and let's change this one to change it to a 2 it's a little bit too low this six it's too high so we're happy with 1.5 and sometimes we're just sitting here playing about with numbers I feel like I'm playing back with numbers more than I do anything else so 2.2 5.6 1.5 that's good enough and let's give it a name um, single story house wood I'm gonna copy that and paste so we can paste it in later I'm going to click apply and we've applied all of these changes to our prefab. So let's find in game GUI, one Windows, number 10 building menu, the wheel, and other. And you can see here's one I had earlier. And all I did was I duplicated the ladder because I'm too lazy to do things myself. Um, house. Oh, let's just paste what we had. There, yeah, single story house wood. Paste it in here, single story house wood. And let's put our building object in here. And if you remember, we got our RPG inventory icons for free the other day. I'm just going to drag this book in here for the sake of it. Okay, so saving. And let's load up our game. Let's see if we can build our house. 
And here it is, a single story house wood. You can see we can pick it out, move it around. We can find somewhere where there's any space. Let's put our house down. It was, this looks like a good place as any. Here's our house, so we can open it up, go inside. Here it is. Not too bad for our attempt. This is a very messy way of doing it. The better way of doing it is to actually build your house in the editor and then put it all together. But this way you kind of had everything all snapped in for you. And it was pretty much, yeah, it's good enough. So, there you go. Very quick, messy way of how you can turn your one buildable object into an entire house. And if you like what you see and you want to see more, don't forget to always click here, down below, and that big subscribe to see more. Can I get down? Okay. If you want to see more in our Ultimate Survival series, click on the videos that are playing now on the left side of your screen. And if you like what you see and you want to see more, click on that nice big subscribe button that's down below. Go on, you know you want to. Thanks, and see you next time.